okay good morning students uh, today we are going to discuss about the next bit of the basis of classification in chapter 4 that is animal kingdom in previous video we discussed regarding the arrangement of cells this is one of the criteria for the classification of uh, animals so that is what the basis of uh, classification so in this arrangement of cells so how cellular nature is there as you know in uh, it's one of the important property of uh, all living beings cellular nature so based on cell arrangement and uh, uh, we uh, discussed in previous video about the level of uh, organization level of organization either cellular level or uh, tissue level and uh, organ level organ system level of uh, organization we discussed understood and even we also consider the germ layer organization that means uh, diploblastic and uh, triploblastic diploblastic organization and triploblastic organization that is two are there here diploblastic and triploblastic triploblastic organization as you know diploblastic means at least two germ layers should be present that is as a uh, uh, external ectoderm and uh, internal endoderm so in uh, in a triploblastic animals there are three layers germ layers three germ layers basically that was uh, present in the embryonic stage in embryonic development what we see so that germ layers are converted into different organ systems okay so that basically in higher animals in case of uh, uh, mammals you can consider or physis so there are three layers of uh, uh, three layers see uh, that is what we called uh, first one in triploblastic animals first one externally that is uh, uh, ectoderm and middle mesoderm and internally there is a presence of uh, uh, endoderm these three layers can form a whole body okay different organ systems for example uh, uh, mesoderm okay so it can uh, produce the some organ systems and ectoderm produces some organ systems in this way so that uh, three layers are the basic for all these organ systems okay and even in previous video also we discussed the types of organ systems okay usually when we take the circulatory circulatory system which is not similar in all uh, all kind of uh, multicellular organisms okay they may be absent okay so in sponges there is no circulatory system in a platyl menthes there is no circulatory system but in case of higher uh, organisms higher animals uh, when we observe that circulatory system either it is open or closed okay open circulatory system and closed circulatory system also we studied understood and next one the another digestive system when you take digestive system whether it is incomplete or complete if both mouth and anus are present and it is uh, along the gut there are, there are uh, some glands also there fully developed so that is what uh, complete digestive system and in in some cases in a uh, uh, which is uh, not having mouth or uh, sorry uh, anus only one opening is there in case of hydra so only one cylindrates almost they have one opening for the digestive system so that is what a uh, uh, very simple digestive system we can say so that is a uh, incomplete digestive system in this way we have studied in the uh, these points in the previous video let us we discuss in this video regarding the uh, body symmetry and nature of coelom and segmentation notochord these are also another criteria these are the criteria for the classification of uh, animals very important one body symmetry so that is here we let us we discuss the about the body symmetry so body shows some uh, unique features okay so when we observe ourselves in a mirror so right and left side is appears a little same okay so that means that is what the right and left halves when you take the section at the center okay so through the central axis when you take the body section just it is imagination imaginary line we can consider okay so through that we can observe the right and left halves what you call left part equally when we divide so right and left parts are equal appears to be equal because the uh, the organs so right right eye left eye so like so totally uh, we can observe that two equal halves so that is what the symmetry bilateral symmetry okay in this way so there is a what you call a body symmetry is also one of the criteria to classify the animals okay so let us we see there are major types of here i have written the major major 
types of uh, symmetry in animals okay so that is uh, a symmetrical body first one a symmetrical body second one radial symmetry and uh, third bilateral symmetry these are the three major kinds of symmetry which we observed so there is no symmetry that is called a symmetry a means absence of symmetry okay so a means here that is absence of symmetry asymmetrical or asymmetrical we can pronounce it so that is symmetrical asymmetrical body means any plane any plane this is imaginary line we can consider or any plane okay any plane that passes through that passes through the central axis of the body central axis of the body does not divide does not very important does not divide into two equal halves which can make the halves but they are not equal does not divide into two equal halves it is important line here okay so for example sponges you can take the uh, for this uh, example sponges for reference okay uh, you plucked alive you can take bathing sponge you sponge we can say okay so these are the examples we can give for this one sponges is the first phyla uh, phylum of uh, invertebrate invertebrates so that is the they, they are not become two equal halves that is when you take the bathing sponge so this is the bathing sponge you can consider when you take the section so here in this side it is there and here it is in this side so this is what the is these equal two halves are not equal if you consider this is the center of the body or when you consider in this plane so no equal halves and this and this one is not become equal halves okay so they are not identical parts are not formed halves means here parts okay halves these are nothing but the parts okay so next one you can take radial symmetry radial symmetry means what here the any plane any plane very important the term any plane passing through the central center of the body passing through the central axis of the body we can consider or center of the body okay central axis see next it can able to divide into two equal halves equal or identical we, are, we may also use the term identical halves okay so more or less usually the internal structures also same in some animals but in in some animals maybe internal structure may be become little different but uh, morphology almost it is equal okay so hence we can also use the term here identical halves identical parts are formed okay so that is what the any plane very important any plane for example so you can take the uh, starfish here examples here starfish as you know starfish is five armed structure the there are five arms are there here so i will draw here the simple diagram okay you consider this is the starfish yes this is what the starfish okay so this is the structure of starfish so when you take the section the imaginary line either by this plane or by s yes, you can draw in this plane okay so this is what the starfish diagram so when you cut in any plane that should pass through this is what the central axis this is the central axis any plane any plane means it is straight line straight line so should pass through center it can able to divide it into two equal halves in any plane understood so that is what the radial symmetry is nothing but radial symmetry is nothing but any plane which is passing through the central axis of the body just i am simplified this line center of the body so is divide into two equal or identical halves so example what i am giving here starfish starfish is the example so even uh, you can take uh, all echinoderms almost uh, echinodermita what we call echinoderms echinoderms so you can also take the example of uh, uh, cylindrates hydra is also example you can write the cylindrates okay i'll write here 
solenoids and echinodermids okay so these are showing the uh, what you called uh, the radial symmetry understood the radial symmetry yes next uh, bilateral symmetry bilateral symmetry see bilateral symmetry as i explained already so that is body can be divided into identical or equal left and right halves so here you can see left and right halves in one plane in one only one plane what we called you can write it as one plane so here it is in any plane here that plane is passing in any plane okay so what you called any plane passing so here only in one plane the that line is passing uh, through the central uh, center of the body it can divide it into left and right understood so we can take a man as what i gave uh, the example man is also showing the bilateral symmetry almost higher animals so from pisces so you can consider fish okay fish is also showing right and left appearance is same okay in all fish you can take okay so but uh, starfish what i gave this is not a fish okay it belongs to echinodermata echinoderms invertebrata so almost vertebrates are showing the this bilateral symmetry you can take the crocodile snake okay so even birds so these are the examples so even invertebrates also showing invertebrates that is annelids annelids uh, arthro arthropods insects so best example when you are taking the arthropoda one of the insect as you know you might have played with that that is butterfly so butterfly diagram as you know see simple bilateral symmetry how it appears so this is what uh, the you can so in this way this is the s yes, this is what the head and thorax abdomen okay abdomen so here the legs are there and somewhat uh, okay so in this way so you can see so when you the the line passing through the central axis of the body this is what the line central axis so these two right and left okay so this is the right and left right left so these structures when you observe the parts to halves when you observe so that is what it shows the right and left and right halves are identical or equal okay so even when you observe the organs also become equally distributed in both okay so that's what uh, uh, in one plane it is possible okay if it is done in one plane so that is said to be bilateral that is called bilateral if it is in any plane any plane so that is called radial so in any plane or one plane so there is no possibility of the two equal halves that is called asymmetry there is no symmetry okay no symmetry means no symmetry these animals are not showing the any symmetry okay mainly radial symmetry and bilateral symmetry are showing the symmetry so if uh, that is not showing the symmetry that is called asymmetrical body understood asymmetrical body so this is what the important criteria for the classification body symmetry which is also one of the considerable thing okay next one nature of coelom okay so nature of coelom is a coelom means here it's a body cavity coelom is nothing but it's a body cavity so just you remember it's a uh, coelom coelom which is if it is lined by epithelium so actually it is depends on the body cavity what we call the so for example this is the gut what you call digestive tract and this is the body so in between this place is there no? this is called the coelom okay body cavity we called okay so in the next video in detail uh, structure of uh, this uh, uh, one of the nature of coelom and uh, segmentation notochord we will discuss okay thank you students